Hello my loves and welcome to this week's video. I hope you're all doing really well. I am just on my way to a beauty appointment. I thought it'd be really fun to take you guys along with me for all of the holiday prep that I do before I go away. I'm going to Sicily for a wedding this Thursday and it's currently Tuesday. First appointment is to get my eyebrows done. I get them hennaed and I found a new place just on I think it's the Fulham Road or the Kings Road and she's just such a sweet person. She does a really good job and she has a dog that is just the cutest puppy ever. I always write in the notes. You can write notes that always say bring your dog please and she always does. Some of you know this already but I've had my eyebrows microbladed twice and it's really helped me out because honestly I don't have a lot of eyebrow but I wouldn't get it again because it's so painful and I've also heard of things about it ruining the collagen in your face so I'm a bit like conscious of that so yeah instead I get henna brows now which last about it kind of depends it lasts like between three and seven weeks maybe it really varies depending on how dark you go so today so today i'm going to ask her to go a little bit more dark so by the time it's thursday they'll be like the perfect color it's already 3 30 i've had a very busy day i got up early shot this morning worked with grace then i've got this appointment then i've got a meeting for an hour and then and then pilates which i finished at 30. So I haven't had much time to chill today so I'm actually looking forward to this appointment because obviously you just lie there and do nothing and just I just chat away. Okay just need to find a parking space. Oh and I'm early amazing. Okay can I park here? Sure. home and I've finished my meeting and I've got about half an hour all oh, my eyebrows I need to show you my eyebrows she's done something different with them and I absolutely love it I don't know if they're thicker or the shape's different but something about it I really really like um obviously they're a lot darker right now and they will fade but I actually really like them a bit darker because they kind of match my natural root color I will leave the girl I go to I'll leave all of her details down below because uh, she's really lovely and she just does such a good job. She also does Bee's eyebrows now, so yeah. Bee and I have just ordered a um, takeaway. I'm really hungry and neither of us wanted to cook tonight, so yeah, that's gonna come. Actually, it needs to come ASAP because it's 45 minutes until Pilates and I feel like I need the energy, so yeah. Currently just looking at options for a bedside table. I mentioned to you guys before, but honestly, it takes me so long to choose anything because as you can see they are expensive uh, furniture is expensive it takes a long time to arrive so i just really want to make sure i'm making the right choices um i think i like this one it fits in the space nicely it's got storage so this is a contender let me show you what i've currently got so these are my current bedside tables and there's nothing wrong with them they're actually they've lasted a long time they were very cheap and they've moved with us a couple of times now so yeah, they're from Wafer. I don't know if they still sell them, but um, they've been really good. I just fancy something new. I've had them for a while. They're quite shiny and white. I just want something a bit softer. And then at the moment, I've got my little Neom diffuser, which I honestly love so much. It's so relaxing. It makes a lovely, like, rainfall sound. I've got this random um, briefcase. I just like the um, height it adds to the bedside table. And a book, my Joe Malone diffuser. This is such a nice one for the bedroom. This is lavender and moonflower and i've also got the spray and this spritzes onto my pillow it's really lovely and then my bedside lamp is from olivia's and then the exact same on the other side but i have um some random boxes which i just came in pr um a candle and my body lotion i think i spoke about this one before but this is incredible it's so good the only thing i don't like about it is the smell it smells a bit kind of chemically i guess but oh my goodness, it works so well. It really smooths your skin and it's just transforming, as it says on the bottle. And then this is my bunny rabbit. Say hello to the vlog, Opal. He's really sniffing me out right now. What can he smell? I haven't got you any treats. And there's no treats here. 
Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. Look at that little nose. Such a gorgeous little nose. And then this is the princess. Princess Pippin looking like a queen as always. I know I'm biased, but I honestly think she's the prettiest bunny. You're also very pretty, Opal. You're pretty, but in a different way. You're pretty in a cute way. A little change of plan because I definitely left it way too late to eat. I felt so faint. I was like, nope, there's no way I could do Pilates, listen to my body. So I cancelled the class and stayed at home and ate Thai. I feel like a whole new person with my new eyebrows. I mean, I know they're not anything special, but they're giving me a new, all the new vibes. Um, yeah, anyway, the next thing on my to-do list is to do my big washing pile because there's nothing worse than when you come back from holiday and you've got a big pile of laundry plus all the stuff that you wore abroad. So let's go do that. morning my loves i'm up and ready sorry if you can hear my dishwasher going crazy in the background i am off to an event with the warehouse i'm going to quickly show you my outfit because my car is downstairs got these little shorts on from karen millen my manolos this is from warehouse let's go I'm now home from the event and ready to go full steam ahead with holiday prep. I've just had two parcels delivered and I need to show you guys. One of them is this Elemis parcel rabbit right now licking my knee, which is very distracting. Can you stop it, please? God, I'm so excited about this. It's from Elemis and it includes their iconic rose collagen cleansing balm. Whenever I'm even close to running out, I repurchase it straight away because it, nothing beats it. But then they've also launched a rose collagen micro serum and a pro collagen rose marine cream. I love the Elemis marine cream. And if this is the same, but with that lovely rose smell, then we are really on to a winner here. So let's see. Oh my God, that's amazing. Oh, I'm so excited to use this. What a dream. And then this is what the serum looks like. And up close, it's just loads of tiny little balls. So this has antioxidant properties, 72 hours of hydration and moisture boosting microalgae and then of course rose extract as well okay i can't wait to try these so i'll let you guys know how i get along but i have a feeling i'm going to love it i also got this parcel which i have a feeling is a new bikini it is so this is from the brand arabella london and this is their style i think it's called modern bustier and it's basically supposed to fit like a bra that is a bikini and i just think this is such like a classic it gives me slightly retro vibes and I really love it and I just think it's gorgeous. So I'm very excited to wear this. Also comes with the matching, well there's lots of different styles of bottoms but I went for like, it's kind of like high Brazilian style. Very nice. I'm going to show you guys everything I'm bringing to Sicily, all of my outfits because I'm not vlogging when I'm there as it's a wedding and I don't know, I just feel like they're not going to want somebody vlogging at their wedding. I have got some gorgeous pieces to wear so we'll do that shortly. I've also got a bit, a bit of a tanning dilemma. I've still got probably like five day old tan on and it's still clinging on and it's not quite ready to go. But I hate going away without a fresh tan. So I think I'm gonna have to scrub this within an inch of its life off and then reapply. This is actually a bigger problem than I thought because I'm gonna get my nails done and I can't have tan on whilst getting a pedicure, that won't work. And I can't do it tomorrow because we're leaving at four in the morning and I don't want to sit on the plane smelling like fake tan and feeling sticky. And I don't want to try on all my nice new holiday clothes with tan on. So what do I do? We're going to come back to that issue and for now I'm going to start packing. Just done a beach cafe order. I always have a little look on their site before going anywhere because they stock the most gorgeous brands and like really unique pieces. I'm wearing green. I'm wearing green I think twice on this holiday um the bunnies are fighting in the background sorry so yeah i don't know what's happened to me but i just love this dress i think it's so gorgeous it looks more neon on camera but in real life it's kind of like a 
a deeper green. I just think it's a really flattering shape. It has all of these gorgeous thrills and like this kind of button up detail, all of this scalloping around the bust. I'm just obsessed, it's so nice. And yeah, I just think this is a very good option for places like Italy. There's a beach party on Friday and I think this with some little espadrilles would look really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start trying on everything, taking photos. Taking photos of your outfits before the holiday is key because then you can look through your phone and you know exactly what you've got to wear and how to style it, it just saves a lot of time. And then for my dress, which is all the way back here, it's the Abercrombie one I showed you guys a few vlogs ago. And I just think it's stunning. It's such a nice colour. Again, going for this green theme at the moment. And here is the swim lineup. The bikini I've just showed you from Arabella London. This is fourth and reckless X Laws, giving me again quite vintage vibes. This one is just stunning. It's from a brand called La Revetche, I want to say it's probably very wrong, but it's very Magda Bertram esque with this beautiful rose. Can't wait to wear this. And finally, my Rene Olga bikini. I've had this one um, a couple years now. I bought it via Beach Cafe and it is still sold. It's just so flattering and great for tanning. And then my Chanel silk scarf that I have never worn and I'm so keen to wear it but I bought it on the way to the Amalfi Coast and it was just too hot and sticky to risk ruining the silk so hopefully I can get wear out of it this time and then the last thing from Beach Cafe is this gorgeous cover-up it's kind of like this very lightweight shirt material and I love this detail here which is where you thread the fabric through a very easy but luxurious feeling throw over a bikini type outfit Okay, so those are all of the bits that I've recently bought and I've just gone through my wardrobe and also my summer box and I'm just going to select pieces from there. So this is a dress from Mango I showed in my last haul and I think this is going to come with me. I really like it. It's very classic, very elegant. Obviously, I will not be wearing white around the bride, but um, we're also going to have some time during the day to explore um, just me and my boyfriend. So I think this is what I'm going to wear. I also have this really cute set. This is from Bow and Bow, and it's this lovely like cheesecloth material, really soft. The only concern is that it might be a little bit warm, but I think it's quite an easy outfit just to wear over a bikini or something like that. I've just had a really exciting knock on the door. I can't believe it. I'm going to unbox it right now. And this is a bag that I actually have my eye on, not in this colorway. It's a work of art. I think it's so beautiful. <gasps> It's this beautiful metallic gold and then you have the serpentine along the top and it's just this really cute little clutch. Now this has been on my wish list for some time and I'm very excited to get some use out of it and see kind of how it's like to use. But look, you just hold it like that. Now let me show you. So this is to go with the green dress and the gold Jimmy Choo's. Okay, now they are slightly different tones of gold. This is a lot cooler, these are a lot warmer, but I still think they match really nicely and the green as well to break them up will just look really good. I will definitely be posting all of my looks to my Instagram or Instagram stories and my TikTok as well. So um, make sure you go follow me on all of those. But yeah, I'm feeling very, very thankful to have been lent this. I'm also gonna take this gorgeous kind of goldy satin top from a brand called My Best Friends. I discovered them on Instagram and they just sell the most beautiful pieces everything again is just so unique and the fit is always really good so this is just like literally one-sided and you tie it all up at the back so i think it's going to look very pretty um i definitely think this is an evening thing what should i pair this with i think this might look nice with black trousers or a black skirt or black shorts okay so i definitely think black because it really makes the gold satin pop but i'm not sure if these shorts look better or like a satin skirt. This skirt is again from the mango haul I did. I actually think the skirt is better. It almost looks like a bit of a dress. Just need to wiggle it around a bit. Do you know what? The only thing I don't like about this skirt that I didn't realise before, the sides, like they're not very like, like what is this seam? I wish I'd noticed that before, otherwise I would have taken it back. Like I just think there are better quality skirts out there that will look a bit more flattering. What is going on here? I've gone for a different pair of shorts. These ones are linen and a bit longer. And actually, I think these look a lot better. So now for shoes. Now, I don't know if Sicily or Taumina, which is where we're going, is going to be like Amalfi, where you don't want to wear any heels. 
I feel like it's gonna be quite chill. So maybe just my Hermes Orans. This outfit has me really stumped. I don't know how to style it. I've got my Monodos or my Orans. Obviously dressy, casual. I'm gonna take, maybe I take both. I don't know, there's just something not quite working. But here is the back and I think the back looks really nice. Okay, so I've reached the point in packing where I'm getting a bit stressed. I don't know why, but packing really, really stresses me. But I've got my big summer box, which is here, which contains like all of my holiday kind of clothing. Everything else is in my wardrobe. So let's go through it, because I haven't really gone through it this year yet. Shorts, these are from Meshki. I actually did a huge Meshki order for this holiday, but I took every single thing back. It just like, I didn't like the quality, I didn't like the fit, it just really wasn't for me which is a shame because the import duties were like 40 pounds or something. But I just thought there's no point keeping it if I don't like it. Anyway, anyway, I feel like Meshki used to be a lot better quality. I've had these, honestly, since, hmm, I wanna say like 2018. I always bring these sets with me. These are from Vita Grace and they are just the best quality and just such a nice fit. So there's a little set which are these navy shorts, the matching shirt as well. I also always take this because of Alice set on holiday. It's a shirt and matching trousers. And honestly, they're just such a holiday vacation staple. She still sells them. Um, I don't want to overpack though, which I do have the tendency of doing. Do you know what the problem is? I have a lot of white, which I'm not going to be wearing around the bride because that is pretty much illegal. I just got into something more comfortable because I'm going to go get my nails done. My fingernails are like on the verge of slightly being grown out, but they're not quite grown out enough to get them redone. So I'm going to leave them, but I just need to get a pedicure basically and have a good old scrub on my feet. So yeah. Here are how things are currently looking. It's lots of little piles on the floor. Good evening guys from a very pale looking me. I have scrubbed and scrubbed and scrubbed all of my fake tan off and I thought I'd show you my tanning routine because I always get asked about it and I think I've filmed one before but not recently. So the day of and the day before I know I'm removing my tan I'll use this body lotion I mentioned to you guys earlier on because this really renews the skin and makes it feel really fresh and clean and then I will use this in the shower. Let me come close. This is the Kate Summerfill Exfolicate and this is both a physical and chemical scrub. So it really works, it's magic in getting off all of the dead skin, skin cells, that's so hard to say. And then once I'm out of the shower and I've still got wet skin, I'll go in with a towel and scrub with the towel and that kind of gets off anything that's left. And then finally, God, it sounds like I'm gonna have no skin left at the end of this. And I promise you, this doesn't hurt me at all and it's not as aggressive as, as it sounds. I'll then go in with a dry brush. I've got two different ones. I've got this one from Amazon and this one from Patisserie. This one is quite aggressive, so I use it very lightly. And this one is very soft, so I can really go in with this one. And then I'll go in with a gentle moisturizer. This one from Laura Mercier is one of my favorites, along with the Beauty Pie one as well. Okay, now for tanning. The best tanning mitts I have found are the Bondi Sands ones. They feel really luxurious, I find. They apply the tan really evenly, they're soft, and the best thing about them is you can wash them time and time again and they just last for a very long time. With a tan, I kind of mix it up. Sometimes I use Saint Tropez, sometimes I use this one. This is a Sienna Express Tinted Self Tan Mousse. I just find this goes a really nice deep colour. It also lasts really well and I just, yeah, it's one of my favourites. I just go in really small circular motions, starting with the decolletage and the arms. I mean, you guys already know this already, but I always get asked, so I've actually still got my makeup on, so I ought to remove that. Here's a colour difference after one coat. This looks a lot more green when it's developed. It's a lot more, it's a lot more like a natural tan. Are you going? Yeah. Okay, okay. Have fun. Love you. Love you. Have the best time. Thank you. Thank you for having the bun buns. Some pictures every day. I will be storying. Like there's no tomorrow. I like to get private previews. Oh, okay. Um, I will send you pictures of the bun buns. Please do. I love it when Opal sends me messages in particular. Okay. I'll tell him. And um, you're back on Monday? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Have a lovely weekend and I will see you.
Monday. On Monday evening. You back late? I'm actually, I'm not sure. I'll let you know. All right then. All right. Love you. Do you fancy doing my back really quick? Yeah, come here. And then I do my legs. I always use it very sparingly on my knees because that's where it gets a bit gross. And I am tanned. This is two layers. It looks a bit scary on camera, but it washes off very nicely. I've also just put it everywhere on my face, apart from my T-zone, because that's where the pores get congested. I just use whatever's left on the mitt here, on my hands, and on my feet. And I've just got some loose clothing on right now. Make sure not to rub off any tan. I've also got my toes done, but I forgot to show you guys. I normally get French on my toes because, I mean, toes are kind of ugly, aren't they? So I think French makes them look prettier. Why are you doing that oval? You think I shouldn't take that? Mm -hmm. This arrived in the post today. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's from Anne Louise Boutique and they just have the most lovely, gorgeous occasion wear. So this is what I'm gonna wear, I think, to the rehearsal dinner because the dress code is summer dresses and it's on the beach. So I think this with some flats or maybe these espadrilles here could look really nice. If you guys have watched my packing videos before, you will know that I like to use packing cubes. They save my life. So I'm going to just kind of roll this one up and pop it into the cube. These cubes are from Amazon. Pop in the wedding dress outfit as well. And then also probably all of my evening outfits. I feel like it makes sense to all be in the same place. I have all of my bikinis in this pouch. Okay guys, I'm bringing a lot of like two piece beach sets. I always feel like I don't have enough of them on holiday and they're kind of what I wear most over like normal outfits. So I'm taking the Because of Alice one, my Vita Grace one, which Opal has slightly uh, attacked. I also just hate the feeling of, you know when you're on holiday and you think, oh, I wish I bought this. Um, or, oh my God, this would have gone so well with this. So I'm hoping I won't have that feeling. I'm also gonna bring this set from Mango. It's like a crochet two piece I showed in my last haul. Also the bow and bow one I showed you guys earlier. Okay, and then on to daytime outfits, I've got the green beach cafe dress I showed you guys earlier. I've got this one from Super Dry that's super cute. Just like a very simple little broidery mini white dress. I thought I could wear my Chanel scarf as a top with a pair of linen shorts. So I need to go grab those linen shorts actually. These are the same ones from Karen Millen I showed you guys earlier. I've also got this little Massimo Duty top, which I just thought is a good little pretty basic. I've got another dress from my best friends. It's so cute, it's like a kind of collared shirt and then it goes out into all of the pretty ruffles. I feel like this could be worn day two nights. So I'm gonna put it in the day section. And then for my airport outfit, I'm thinking either this midnight blue Adenola set with my Chanel trainers, or this, um, because of Alice, two-piece set. This one's a lot more chic. Um, this one's probably a bit more practical. So maybe I take both and wear this one there and then this one on the way back. <laughs> lineup of other accessories i recently picked up these beautiful shell earrings from sorrel jewelry and i just think they are so perfect for a beach destination these are also from sorrel these are cos and these are mango so these are all the earrings i've got my chanel sunglasses my celine sunglasses my new clutch and my jimmy choo gold heels i've got all my makeup in this lovely little beauty pie case and then everything else i just chuck into one of these clear Amazon bags because I feel like that's just the easiest way of doing it and the best way of seeing everything. I think the perfume I'm going to go for this holiday is Solaris by Pen Halligans. This is such a summery smell, um, so I think it's going to be really perfect for this trip. One thing that always really helps me is my packing list. I've had this list going for about two, three years now, and this literally has everything. Let me come up close. I categorize everything into each section and then I can take it off. And this way I just have peace of mind knowing 
I probably have everything I need. And then if there's anything else, I just add it into the little extras bit at the bottom. So I think we are good. My bunny rabbit has turned into a little sloth. A little sloth. Into the ground. Oh, and when it comes to bags, they always come with me in hand luggage. Um, I've got my toyard with me just in case anything ever happens to them. I also have in here uh, this little pouch, which is from Katie Loxton. And then you have like space for your passport, documents, boarding pass tickets, and oh, there's even a little bit for a pen. Oh, my passport pen out. Yeah, I find this really handy. Just keeps everything together. And you can get them monogrammed as well. I've got KH on mine. I keep this pretty empty, so I've got room for my bags. But yeah, I just have hand sanitizer, lip gloss, Elizabeth Arden, tampons, just like all the necessities. Okay, and I think that is me done packing i have to say wait let me flip you guys around i have to say this is the most organized and calm i've ever packed normally i'm like a headless chicken running around really stressed really anxious but actually i'm kind of ready my boyfriend's coming here in about 10 minutes he's going to stay over tonight so we can go to gatwick tomorrow morning at 4 a.m i'm actually gonna die i feel really bad both bunnies are really cuddling up to me today and just following me around even more so okay and then before i wrap the vlog up i'm gonna do my overnight be call some overnight oats which i just think is the cutest thing but it's overnight um heatless curls so what i do i found that if i use a roller just on the front section it means it doesn't fall out of place when I sleep. My poor boyfriend, he's just arrived and he's going to and he's going to go to bed with somebody covered in fake tan and hair like this. But you gotta do what you've got to do. So yeah, thread it through like this and then grab the sections of hair and literally and then just wrap it round we're having a little bit more each time and securing into place with a silk scrunchie and then the same on the other side I'm also about to force him to watch Love Island with a cup of tea and biscuits so probably not what he signed up for when entering this relationship but i think he's got a good deal i mean look at me i'm a vision right now <laughs> i don't know if that was out of focus the whole time if it was i'm really sorry but i feel like you can see you get the general gist of it <laughs> anyway guys i'm going to wrap this video up here i hope you guys enjoyed getting ready for italy with me i love you all so 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 much and i will see you in my next video bye